Hi, this is E.H. Dunn, and welcome to the third YouTube episode of X Dunn. As we're about to go on our mission with Nima and Janakis and Harab and Selthri as we try to broker peace between the Reapers and the Skirmishers. Who better than Harab to accomplish that? Let's move out. The difficulty thus far has been terrifying. And uh, I'm very concerned. Uh, I'm stunned we didn't lose anybody in the last mission. Stunned. Stunned that that uh, Odan did not die, that Drew did not die. Uh, they totally could have. And uh, having played through this game before, this is not a blind playthrough like Darkest Dungeon was. I know what's coming in this mission, and there's... On the back half of this, there's a very hard... Peace. I'm so glad that everyone's excited to see her up. <laughs> the, the unofficial mascot. I gotta get... You know how I have the cutesy image of Nima as my, uh, my uh, icon? I gotta, get, I gotta get a cute Harab. Maybe some Harab plushies, Harab merch... Wheel o heel coffee cups or something. I think we could do it. I'm so disappointed Harab isn't a medic. I really want to retrain him. Oh, I forgot this was a cutscene. I'm talking over it. I wish there were more cutscenes like this. If you are hungry, there's more where that came from. Impressive reflexes, but unnecessary. Stand down. <laughs> <laughs> You'd buy two of them, huh, Zach? I know it's very hard to picture Harab in, in another game, and it was hard to visually represent him. We shall see if the same holds true for these skirmishes of yours. I mean, at this point, I feel like I need to rewrite the fifth interdictor to more align Harab's description with what he looked like in Darkest Dungeon, because I'm with you, Greg. That's now how I see him in my head. <laughs> Uploading the coordinates to the rendezvous point now. We've plotted the most direct route yep, yep, yep. there. We don't yep, know yep, much yep. about the skirmisher contact you'll be meeting other than his name. Mox. Mox? Praetal Mox? His death squads wiped out entire camps of my people in the first years of the war. You would dare do this? Pretty sure hands are bloody on both sides of this fight. That's the whole yeah. point of this. I love the Reapers. Reapers. I think they're super cool. The shadows. I like it's playing with them. Harsh world that was waiting for us out there. Yes, right. We rely on Thank stealth you. and long range attacks. Yep. And our marksmen are unmatched by uh, by the way, Greg, I saw you comment on Tygan. Uh my first time playing through this, I also thought Tygan was was gonna like betray us. Elements of unstable radiation. I cannot fathom what they were like in their original function. Alright, uh we only fight the lost in this mission, so cover doesn't really matter. So I need to get out of my habit of putting people on cover. And um We'll stop with cover after this turn. I might even be afraid of the lost in this difficulty level, which normally I don't I don't really sweat them. I go where I'm needed. Uh, I just want to do blue moves to make sure that I have uh, options. Orders confirmed. Moving out. All right. At least Overwatch, even though I, I've played this, I know they're not going to come out. Watch this. Make me wrong. Come on, game. Yep. <laughs> oh, I know what I'm talking about. No, I don't. Don't listen to me. I like that camper. You know, for the apocalypse, that camper is in excellent shape. These creatures' true strength lies in their numbers. I think that's just a couple lost on vacation. I don't even think they're here with hostile intent. No more time for regrets. We are not alone. Those things, they still look like people. What was human died years ago. 
Only the taint of the alien survives now. Yeah, go, Cell 3. I can't believe... I'm so disappointed, Greg. Cell 3 is not a ranger. Uh, I, I plan on trying to fix that when we can reclass them. Cell 3 needs to be a ranger. If anyone is running around with a sword chopping people up, it should be Cell 3. These creatures' DNA has mutated well beyond what we would classify as... Alright, that's a headshot. Perhaps we'll take that shot from Harab. To the alien radiation from those pods. The Harab has been an absolute beast thus far. I, I don't think he's missed. When the government fell, millions starved. Many fled to cities such as this to scavenge for food. They did not heed the warnings. Nice. I like her gun. I like everything about her. I like that she has a different UI. Uh, everything about her is extremely cool. You could, and I didn't, because I wanted to see what they would end up as, but I probably should have thought about the fact that if they didn't become what I wanted them to, I would be frustrated. So, uh, you know. I, I wanted the surprise, but then I didn't get what I wanted. It's kind of like asking for something specific for Christmas and then being disappointed when you open up the present and that's not what it is. Alright, it's still got the blue move, so we could uh, head forward here. Of course, the uh, Grenadier is not great against the loss because of their low ammo. Let's, uh, I love this camper. I think this camper is great. I don't remember this thing being here before. All right, let's just park up here. I will be in position. All right, Greg, it was really great to have you uh, uh, stop by, and I'll be putting these on YouTube. But the the VOD will be up, uh, you know, as soon as this is over. I'll watch closely. Come get some. Got him covered. The YouTube might take me a few days to uh, to put together anyway. All right, a little Overwatch. Have a good night, Greg. Alright, he's dead. So I think my intent on Twitch here tonight is probably to do the first half of this mission. And to do the uh, the skirmisher half and then part three tomorrow. Alright, let's head over here. Anybody? All quiet? All quiet? Oh, we got all kinds of friends over here. Lots of friends. Well, one less friend now. Oh, she's revealed. I love that they still make the point of wearing clothes. Like, they're zombies, but they still want to protect their modesty a little bit. Alright, unfortunately we're going to have to reload here. I think the, um, yeah, also out of ammo. And doesn't have vision on anybody. But two shots here. Position confirmed. Can use the pistol. I love the look of the pistol. I think the pistol looks uh, looks badass. Harab, you are an absolute beast. Ah. You left him standing. Alright, so we are going to overwatch you. And you can pick up that guy as he runs forward. There we go. Oh, Cell 3, he just like lit up Harav but missed the guy. An entire city of our own people. Left a uh, let's not waste Harav on that. All we can offer them now is a merciful death. Alright, there we go. Kill confirmed. Yep, kill confirmed. Alright, so let's see. Um, best route through the building. I kind of want to go up. If there's an opportunity to climb, I like to take it. I just feel like it's more fun. I am at your service. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. Uh, snipers are great against, against the lost. Uh, I think we'll yellow move you. Let's get everybody up in the fire escape here. We gotta get the fifth in here, Cell 3, so you and the fifth can hang out together. Alright, well, I guess. Uh, what happened to our yellow move? Oh, are you in the way? Rolling. 
Is that the problem? Okay. All right. Probably should have reloaded instead of overwatched. These creatures are worse even than Advent. They All have right. no cause, no fear. They simply Can we open this exist. door? Am I, I think I stopped if one not defeat the aliens soon, one movement too far. No more than they are. Um, Harab, can you go through the door? Or cell three? Yeah, you go through the door, cell three. I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure there's no one on the other side. Oh, you didn't even go through. Fine. Then we'll just wait on this side of the door, I guess. Yeah, we'll just wait. I mean, I think we would have got a sound alert if anybody was through there. If he is not what you say he is, I shall kill him myself. All right, there. Deanna. It's worth you're talking about. I've been watching a lot of Next Gen lately uh, because uh, we have it on Pl like there's Pluto, and Pluto has a Next Gen channel, or they have a Star Trek channel, and so it's just it's just Next Generation all day long. And for some reason, I like having episodes of something served up to me more than going and picking what episode I want to watch. It's kind of like having it on shuffle. I will reposition. They also, uh, Pluto also has a Mystery Science Theater channel, which is just MST episodes all day, which I adore MST. Uh, it's, it's pretty good and it's a free app. Watching comes Scanning. Scanning. They've got movies, yeah, it's, it's good stuff. You know, there's ads. You gotta put up with the ads. Biological signatures are grouping into a singular yeah, 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 yeah. One closing in on this position. A swarm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We it's fun. Push forward before it's fun. It arrives. Guys, it's the lost, okay? Don't don't get too worried about it. I'm telling you guys now, lost, I, I don't sweat you. Hostile neutralized. Uh, no shot on the other guy. Okay, let's get, uh, Dragonova out here. Volk says I am to obey. Okay, there's some dudes. Yeah, an MST channel is just, like, the greatest thing to have on in the background. I mean, it is probably much more entertaining than having me on in the background. Uh, I love Mystery Science Theater. It's one of my favorite shows ever. Uh, that was an interesting sideways shot there, uh, Elena. Uh, you failed to kill that guy. Oh, I guess you, you did kill that guy. Go ahead and get this guy. Alright, time to reload. I know. What kind of shot was that? Alright, Cell 3, what do you got? You have one shot, I think. And you've got to reload. That's fine. And Harab. There we go. Uh, I think that's everybody. Oh, no, well, a couple stragglers. Get them, Harab. Oh, you missed. I think that's your first miss of the campaign. For years, my people All right, can we yellow? Come. We cannot yellow for move all years, the way there. We survived. Okay, but let's get down. Now you risk everything for your dreams of peace. If you haven't noticed, the aliens have been kicking our planet's ass for the past 20 years. You think maybe it's time we try something else? If Hello, boys. Could take down these I'm creatures. back. Oh, Harab. I gave you a great setup and you blew it. <laughs> There's the Harab I know. <laughs> he waited until it was funny to fail. Can, can you, Dragonova, can you, can you just... I don't know why I need you behind this cover. I don't. Just Movie go there. Extraction point is close, but looks like these things don't want to make it easy for you. Now I know we're on our first Twitch episode of uh, XCOM here, but I will say I could see doing another Darkest Dungeon playthrough. I can only 
when this is over and maybe doing Crimson Court and uh, the other one too. I just don't know if you guys want to watch that. Do you want to see, you know, the amount of time that that would take? I mean, I'd do it. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's go 80 here. Ah! Oh, guys! Guys, guys, guys. They might actually get a hit in here. There's... Ah, they're teaming up on Harab. <laughs> Get it back, Harab. I'm actually pretty unhappy about this, because I think Harab's going to take that damage uh, into... Uh, yeah, I mean, here's the thing, is that I would love to do more games with the Everest cast outside of XCOM and Darkest Dungeon. I don't know of another game that works this no well where you can create a whole bunch of characters and Let's name them and you have a bunch of missions that you do and go on them um there's lots of games that'll let you where i could have four of them in it but to have the whole group and then each episode to pick who we're going to use is tricky uh, i i don't know if, i mean there are other xcoms there's the original you know the other other xcoms i could do all right let's get over into our area here Good to go. I'm always open to suggestions. I must move quickly. All right. Copy that. That's going to do it for this one. Central. The preliminary reading. Uh, let's see. D to D. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My records, but I may have encountered something similar to them during my time. Oh, I think. Then. We just needed Harab to move in here. There we go. Alright. I mean, I, th I think I misinterpreted your comment, uh, Zach. I think you were basically saying that, yes, you'd be down for another Darkest Dungeon playthrough. But first, we have aliens to kill. All right, so we're going to watch the setup to this, and then we'll close this out. It's Janakis and Nima. That's our man. Well, our contact anyway. Crocked thought. Advent. Hobbit. Vox Tala. They were sent here to hunt. To purge the drop ten. The lost. Meeting point is still secure. She is free of the imposter gods. I would give anything that all my kind could say the same. Even sit down with your reapers. Now, <laughs> we must go. I think Janakis came out great. I think it looks great in this cutscene. Yes, ahead. yes. Proceed through this district as quickly as possible, but be careful. Something tells me this city still has a few more surprises to throw our way. Surprises are the least of our worries today. It is these reapers of yours that are of true concern. We, the skirmishers, were created by the false gods of this world to serve and die as their puppets. Yep, yep. We retain all that we were and more. All right, I'm trying not to interrupt Bados here, but boy, there's so much background talking. Yes. Okay, are you done? All right, so we've got Nima and we've got Janakis. Now, Nima and Janakis actually share the opening scene of the Unseen Key. And um, 
they share that scene with a third character who did not appear in Darkest Dungeon and probably will not appear in this series either, and that's Lamu. And uh, I'm not going to say too more about that because saying almost anything about Lamu is a spoiler. But uh, Lamu will not be making an appearance in this game either. Now, I know this mission well enough to know that uh, there's really no fight until we get a little cutscene deal, I think. Or there's maybe a guy who runs up, but we can handle it. Uh, but, you know, I have got to do better than I did last night with these people. They've entrusted their lives to me. And, uh, you know, I completely let them down last night. And not just in that one either. Uh, you know, we got out of that tunnel mission by the skin of our teeth. It was just pure luck that we didn't lose anybody. And definitely I had to put Odin in a position where I knew he was going to get shot. And I just had to hope that he didn't get the crit. Unfortunately, the, uh, the alien did not. The AO. All right, so I know that there's a guy that we see here in a minute, so I don't know if we see the cutscene first or not. I kind of think we do. What do you think, Worf? The only move, huh? Okay. There we go. Purifiers were created with a singular purpose, to contain the top 10, the lost. We must eliminate this patrol quickly before others arrive. Fine by me. Take them down. You know, like a lot of people my age, uh, yeah, Mox, Son of Moog, absolutely. Like a lot of people my age, and I suspect Greg's age as well, I watched a lot of Star Trek The Next Generation uh, when it was on originally, and in reruns, and uh, I recently have been re-watching the series. I'm more of a Deep Space Nine fan than I am Next Generation. Not that I was anti-Next Generation, but um, in my rewatch of Next Generation, I have come to appreciate the acting skills of one Jonathan Frakes. I think, obviously, the meaty stuff went to Patrick Stewart, Brent Spiner, and later um, uh, some good stuff went to Michael Dorn as well for Worf. But, you know, Jonathan Frakes really grew as an actor, and, and the later stuff in the later seasons, is his stuff is quite good, actually. And I'm, uh, that's my... That's my uh, unlikely Star Trek opinion, and I'm standing by it. All right, we're just overwatching everybody here because I, I want these guys to come to me. Nice job, Mox. Uh, Janakis, good job. I got to remember these guys sometimes blow up. I agree with you, uh, Greg, that DS9 is the best for me. Um, you're good, Worf. You're fine. Don't worry about that. Um... I will say that I used to criticize... Uh, hi, Lady Azu. Good evening. I used to criticize Next Generation for having no character development. And while they may not have had much, they did have a lot of character scenes in the later seasons. And some decent stuff. So I think I was too hard on Next Gen. Alright, so 27% here is no good. Mox, you are on fire. But you know, that's okay. You like it. Some like it hot. Some sweat when the heat is on. I believe you can pull someone to you. Can you not? Is that justice? Yes. How about we serve up a big fist of justice? You just got served some justice. Now, if he blows up, this was a bad decision. <laughs> because I forgot that they blow up when they die. Uh, Mox, I would like you to move very much because I'm planning on exploding this gentleman. Thank you. All right. Uh, yeah, Jan, do you want to do the honors here, please? Nicely done. The patrol has been liberated. Thank you. Thank you. Uh... It's like these guys have a competition to say who could, who can say the obvious thing more. Uh, I'm just gonna park Nima right here because that's a terrible decision. But I know this. I know this map. Whoops. Excuse me. Now, if that truck blew up, that would be funny, huh? All right, Nima. Uh, there's no reason to go climbing around on stuff. I, again, I know what's coming. We got to go into the middle here, and then there's a cutscene where they blow stuff up, and Mox does something crazy, and 
hilarity ensues. You know, Jan, maybe don't catch on fire. That would be. That's how I would. That's how I'd play it. You know, I'm not here to tell you what to do. Oh wait, I go, am. Go, go. Jan Janakis, the loyal servant of the king. And a frustrating uh, uh, tank in Darkest Dungeon. I never figured him out. Nima, just go ahead and overwatch there. Alright, let's catch uh, Worf up here. I'm, n I'm just not going to not call him Worf. It's just impossible to not do it. Hey, Zach. How are you this evening? And uh, I'm doing well, thanks. I had a really, really, really busy work day. Other than that, I'm doing fine. And you know, that'll happen. It's not like, I like my job, I'm not complaining. Location I mean, confirmed. I can't complain, but sometimes I still do. Oh, the fireflies. This is no patrol, it's an army. Yes, one we do not have time to face. Like, were they, would they have all stood there if Central had not told them to get back? Like, were they just like, whoa, what do we do? Looks like that guy's gonna explode. Purifiers may be down, but unfortunately, that was our extraction point. I fear that is not the worst of it. Multiple biological signatures rapidly on approach to your position. And they're wearing jeans. The sound of combat <laughs> excite them. Denim clad zombies. Yeah, Santos gonna central. You're absolutely right. He's gotta be such a pain in the ass at home. You know. People are putting laundry away. Remember to clean the dryer sheet. Yes, we know to clean the dryer vents. Dad, will you knock it off, please? Uh bang. Allowing enhanced speed and agility. Good job, Nima. Corresponding increase in aggression. I believe these do not count as kills. 65, that's not that great. Mox, why don't you get back over here, buddy? Okay, why don't you, like, help out? I go as ordered. Thank you. As I ordered you to. Alright, I guess you're gonna overwatch. Nima. Kill. <laughs> that's, that's, that's a weird sentence. That is a very strange sentence. Nima the Death Machine. Nima's never in character in these campaigns. She's never in character. Last campaign, she couldn't stay out of the brothel. Uh, <laughs> it was just totally out of character. Now she's some kind of death, death dealer. <laughs> Alright, uh, do we got anybody else? No, we don't. So go ahead and overwatch. And you got one, Jin. Go ahead, take your shot. You didn't miss your shot. That's good. Um, yeah, let's reload. And, you know, hold out until an alternate round is available. So how was your day, chat? How are you guys doing? What's the weather like where you guys are? Because it is hot as hell here. I just said chat because it's easier than saying Zach. <laughs> Zach, Lady of Shoe, Craig. And uh, anyone else who might be there. My uh, uh, my uh, Twitch dashboard is often extremely wrong about how many people are there. Still very hot until Monday. Mid-90s and humid. God, I hate humid. I know there are people who like humid. And, you know, that's cool. Like the thing you like. No judgment. Uh, let's uh, reload. Uh, 70s. Yeah, I can't wait for the 70s. You know, bring back bring back disco and uh, uh, bell bottoms because I want it to be the 70s again. In fact, I think we are going to take advantage of the good weather this weekend to completely redo uh, a couple, you know, just, we like to shuffle the rooms around and change stuff, you know, 
Um, maybe because we can't go out and do anything anymore. So like, well, let's do something here. So we're going to completely change the rooms around. And uh, so even though I just kind of redid Streaming Central, we will be redoing it again this weekend in a completely different room. And uh, I'm excited about it. We were kind of drawing it out today. But God, I just, I can't. It uh, feels like temps today were like 101, 102. And, you know, Maine is just, that's not, that's not the way it's supposed to be here. Can't handle the hot. Oh, Central, do you just freak out about everything, man? You know, it's, it's like, I, I picture Central, like, saying all this stuff, and everybody else in the office just ignoring him. Just walking around, doing their own thing, drinking coffee, looking at papers, not even acknowledging that he's there, and he just walks around babbling about everything. think we've got something here. Just need another minute. He's so earnest about everything, too. Nima! What happened? Yeah, oh, guys, guys, we can't let one of these things actually hit us. We cannot let these things actually hit us. 68% is, is no guarantee. But we got it. Yep, his service really is over. Another lost swarm. Some real DD energy here. Yeah, I guess so. I just, you know, I'm totally setting myself up here. 100% setting myself up. I shouldn't talk smack. But the lost just don't affect me. The, um, the Chosen do. Absolutely. And there are several aliens that I'm freaking terrified of. But the Lost don't, and the, um, uh, the, uh, Faceless don't. Because they're just, they're just predictable. Like, you just, you know what they're gonna do. Alright, now there are a lot of guys here. Let's kill that one. And, uh, we are out of ammo again. And now we'll kill that one. Thank you. Uh, it is dead. That's good. All right, uh, Nima, how many you got? Uh, do you need to reload? Back you do. Line. Everybody has to reload. You guys need bigger uh, ammo chambers. All right, 65 is your best shot, Nima. Well, hit him with your best shot. Go ahead. Fire away. I'm going to attempt to do just the stream where it's just all song lyrics <laughs> the entire stream. Okay, this is actually bad because everyone is out of ammo. 70%, we gotta waste it on this guy. It does feel a lot like Darkest Dungeon though. I was, um, you know, as I was editing the stuff for YouTube today, I was like, well, this really does feel like a Darkest Dungeon thing. And I can't think of a third game that has all these elements. You know, the large cast that you can customize their names, and in this case their look, although that wasn't necessary. The mission-based system, where you're picking uh, picking four people, or in this case up to six people, out of a group, a pool, that are all leveling up, and you've got base activity, and uh, like there are others that have some of it. But I can't think of anything else that has the whole package except this in Darkest Dungeon. And I would, I would take it if there was something else. Okay, so we may actually get hit here. Because I talked, uh, talked smack about the loss, they're gonna, they're, they're gonna make me look stupid, which, you know, I'm pretty good at that. Yep. Mox. Oh, no. <laughs> All right, let's see. So, and our shots are not that good. These are missable shots. Uh, let's let's see. Uh, where's Jan here? So Jan only has one shot. Then he has to reload. His best shot is this 84. And see, it wasn't it wasn't a. Uh, this is actually quite bad. I'm gonna have to get Mox out of there. Uh, can we use his, um, 
see, I did, shouldn't have talked smack. The fact that they're not, that um, I, I'm i thinking about it, but you know, that just brings more. All right, you have one shot or you can do a grenade. Uh, that would take these two out of the picture. Probably. I think I'm going to go for that. I think you're, you're correct here, Greg. Yep, sometimes. <laughs> yep. Alright, so I need a one and a three out of this. We got it. Okay. Yep. Uh, now, Nima's best shot is this. Nima has three, three shots here. We want to make sure we take this one. The one closest to Jin. We want to get these three. Alright, let's take this guy. Nice job, Nima. Did need the crit, but appreciate it. Okay, let's take this 66 here. Very nice. And this 66 here. Ah! Yeah, all right. Well, at least we got uh, Mox out there. This actually could go bad for Jan. All right, I'm glad that was only one. Okay, all right, we're good, we're good, we're good. Then. Everything's fine. Hang tight there, Jan. We got you. 98%. Goodbye. Love the look with the uh, pistol. Ah. See, now this must be the higher difficulty level in action, that we're, we're not always getting the one shot that I'm used to at the lower difficulty. And our, uh, our aim uh, chances aren't as good, I'm seeing. All right, so we definitely need to reload. And uh, I need to reload you. And we'll overwatch you because there is another swarm coming because of our grenade usage. And yeah, the, the size of the swarms is actually a problem. So I'm gonna I'm gonna retract my earlier statements because it exceeds our ammo capacity, particularly since we have a sniper. Uh, you know, we don't have a high ammo character. Which who would that be, actually? Actually, I'm gonna take that back because um, if Nina uses her pistol, she has infinite ammo. So if I keep doing that, that's a 77. The problem, of course, is the damage level and she missed. That's also a problem. All right, Jan, I need to run you back a bit. All right, we are actually backing away from the lost. And they're making me take these shots. I don't I don't like these shot percentages. Ah. All right, Mox, you're going to need to get that guy 86. That's good. And over here is an 81. That's good. Out of ammo. 78. Good. Uh, no more in vision, so we'll pick... We should hopefully get one on Overwatch here. If uh, Mox decides to see somebody, thank you. But, uh, yeah, that was... A bit wide right there, buddy. Uh, you're not gonna win the Batleth term tournament with that uh, performance. All right, since so two to three is the problem. Any of these guys only got two health? This one. Okay. Enemies down. Not anymore. Uh, the t freaking Twitch bar is in the way. I think it's. I think that's a two health. Yep. Yeah, all right. How many has Nima killed here? 
Nima, if you could run the table here, that would be yeah, amazing. Okay. Yeah, Nima as a sniper just seems all kinds of wrong. She's the sweetest, most lovable sniper ever. It's still moving. The sniper with a heart of gold. Alright, I'm debating. Yeah, I'm going to move Jan up. Let me make sure we still have actions with Mox. We have one shot with Mox. Mox, go ahead and take your shot. Thank you. Then he's got to reload. And I don't want to use your other shot yet. I want to move Jan up. I guess like Thane in Mass Effect, maybe. I could, I could see that. Thank you, Jan. Alright, let's try to group everybody here. Let's reload Jan, and let's try to converge on Jan. And maybe we'll start trying to move out of here. Yep, I talked smack about the Lost, and, uh, oh my gosh. Oh, great. <laughs> I shouldn't have talked bad about the Lost. Understood. I'm sorry. Ready to go. Don't disrespect things. They hear you. All right, Nima, let's, uh, let's move forward with Nima first. Uh, oh, did Nima already go? Yes, okay. Then let's just overwatch, overwatch. Here they come. I don't see how those pants stay up. They're not very well fitting. Ah, oh, Jan. You're deliver displaying harab levels of uh, frustration here for me, Jan. And you weren't amazing in the last game either. At least Harab was funny. All right, Nemo. Once again, we need you to uh, pull our f butts out of the fire. Uh, what do we got? That's a two. Here, this dasher for eighty-seven. Enemy it just it just looks wrong. I think they're functionally endless, but I believe that one was drawn by the uh, car explosion. They will never really stop coming, but I do think there's breaks. And I'm hoping for one of those breaks after we do this. Come on, Neem, I need this one. Thank you. Enemy down. Okay, now you can... What is your best option here? Take the 75... Nima from downtown. Nicely done. Target neutralized. Uh, actually, there it isn't a timer. It's move soldiers to alternate route. We just have to have all three of them there. I hate the stupid timers. All right, I'm actually going to see if somebody else can pick up a few kills here so that uh, we can move. All right, Jan, you've got three three bullets in your gun. Thank you for not freaking missing. Can you hit this? 66. Not a great shot. No. No, of course. Mox, we really have to be careful with you. Because I'm pretty sure we fail. Yeah, we fail the mission if Mox dies. Oh, he's... Uh, Done with his ammo. Can I run you over here? I know there's guys over there. Cover doesn't matter. And Nima, you do have one more shot. Let's take that. Thank you. And then with your other move, I, I'm actually going to forego an overwatch with you, and I'm going to forego the reload and instead send you over Moving this way. And uh, can you use your pistol? I think you can, actually. And uh, let's get the reload. Alright, this dude may have enough to get to Jan. Alright, but he didn't have enough to, to actually hit him. Do you have a better... Ac yes, you have much better accuracy with your pistol, and it's only a two health guy. Yeah, name of the death machine. Alright. So this is our opportunity to run, I believe. 
Yep, so we're all clear. We just need to get to there. So I think if I bring Jan to okay. here, and we don't get a pod, then we can bring Mox here right behind him. We'll kind of escort Mox. We'll protect him with the other two. Bring Nima here. And uh, let's see. Anybody? Let's reload, Jan. And are we good? Yep. So let's Overwatch, Overwatch, Overwatch. And we should be able to blue move. Ah, oh, look at that. How frustrating. Fine. Nima to here. Uh, Jan to here. Uh, writing's going okay. Uh, kind of slow. I've been doing a lot more plotting and outlining than actual writing. I also am a little uncertain as to which project I should be focusing on. Uh, I've kind of focused on about four or five different things at the same time. Um... You know, the day job has taken a lot of my a lot of my attention, so uh, writing is something that I'm doing kind of towards the end of the day. And, uh, you know, I mean, the, the plan was to follow up uh, Shades of the Sea with the sequel to that. Then I got kind of sidetracked on a novella that I thought was really strong. And uh, I've been kind of debating about... Uh, there's, there's an... Uh, Fresh and Everest Anthology that I've got a lot of stories done for that I'd like to wrap up and get out. Um, I do need to continue the Fractured Everest series itself. So, you know, I had a plan that was kind of built around uh, an amount of time to write that I now don't have. So I'm kind of rethinking things. Uh, it's, you know, writing is definitely still the plan, or a plan. I'm still going to continue. It's just the the schedule's a bit different now. How about your uh, your launch? And you know what's next for you? And you've got audio, I think, coming up too. All right. Here we go into the final part. Let's try and play nice today, people. So, Advent's most brutal captain comes to atone for his crimes. I am no longer that being. I am free now. Taking off that helmet does not change what you are. Reapers have long memories. Elder Kraxad. <laughs> Any time. The way I see it, we have two options. That sounds like busy stuff for you, Greg. Off our world or kill each other here and now. The choice is yours. I'll comment more after the cutscene. No one has ever done that before. No one shall ever do that again. What the hell is that? Vox Prima, Elder Assassin, relentless death that stalks my kind, butcher of free advent. My people face another like her. They are the undying, advent's curse upon us. We must combine strength if we are to have any chance of success. You are welcome to try. Now, if we go into this mission with the same uh, health levels that we had before, we're in a lot of trouble. And we did. Okay, so Harab is, is half dead. Jan is half dead. We have no healers. We have no med packs. Oh, yeah, we are going to have to play incredibly conservative. Okay, so the deal with her is uh, you kind of can't stop her. I, I'm so disappointed that they didn't give us our health back. Uh, I, it's We almost have to leave particular characters as like a target. 
I don't know. If, well, Mox can't die and he only has one health. So that would be the worst thing. Um, let's see. So Nima's in good shape. One thing you want to do against her, out. my memory is, is kind of split everybody up so that she can't catch you in her uh, AoE. Moving to Overwatch. Overwatches don't affect her, I believe. Now this is Jan, and Jan only has one in... He's got on three move. health. Oh, yeah, that's fine, Zach. You know, that, that happens. Uh, I appreciate it. Uh, yep, that's an Amazon rule, and on some level, it's a frustrating rule, but I also appreciate it because it prevents troll reviews, or it makes it harder to have troll reviews, which, you know, Goodreads is, is just inundated with them. Um, you know, we're just going to split up and let her come, and we'll deal with it as best we can, but, uh, you know, I can't guarantee we don't lose somebody here. Put him towards the edge of the map. I think uh, that will protect him. Yeah, putting Mox up top wasn't a bad idea, Greg. I wish I'd, uh, wish I thought of that. Okay, so Shadow Step. She does not trigger Overwatch. She does not trigger Reaction Fire. Missed shots against her will generate shielding. Oh, this is really bad. Really bad. Bad news comes to me where I sit. So, I'm not... I mean, I guess I overwatch, but it doesn't matter. Um, maybe, let's see. Let's look at Mox. Let's see if we can take Greg's suggestion. Can we put Mox on top of the train car? No, we cannot. Oh, if you like epic fantasy, Greg, Greg's a great way to go. Beautiful, beautiful covers, wonderfully reviewed books, and uh, a super nice guy author as well. If I do Order say so confirmed. myself. Moving out. Got it covered. Overwatch. I rolled out waiver. Got it covered. I'm, uh, I guess I could be hunkering. Staying put. I'll stay here. They've played themselves. All right, so here she comes. Looks like she might be going for Dragonova, which is kind of a good thing. Four damage from that. Gosh, this is this is really rough. Uh, no thanks, uh, YGSX. I'm I'm good. Shall I bury your soldier? I'm as uh, I'm as famous as I need to be. <laughs> Oh, I forgot to watch where she went. Damn it. Okay, well, the first one near her is... Um, Nima's actually the one with the most health. I can't believe I got to do this with Nima, but uh, we need to get down here. She usually hides under the parking garage. Um, or the, the overpass here. So Nima's going to go. Jan might go. Mox can't go after her. Cell 3 can absolutely go after her. Cell 3 is actually our best option. She can go here, uh, where she's under full cover. Hey, I'm glad uh, glad you're still uh, enjoying it there. Or, well, you're still reading it. Hopefully you're still enjoying it as well. <laughs> uh, let's see. So we've got her... So here's the problem. We've got her flanked. No, she's not flanked. Cell 3 is flanked. How far... Now, she's got so much movement that she can probably still flank Cell 3. But now i got to get Cell 3 out of there. I'm going to put her behind this cover. But this at least lets me know who else I can bring down. Um, Harab, do you think you could get a shot from where you are? Up here? No. Unfortunately, you cannot. Nima could... I don't think this, this, uh, I don't think she shoots. I don't think she cares much about cover. We also got to revive, uh, Dragonova. All right, so we could maybe come down here and catch her in some kind of 
crossfire situation. Back of the fender. Uh, uh, which, uh, which cliff, which cliffhanger are you speaking of, Zach? Oh, you finished C's. <laughs> C's has an extreme cliffhanger, yes. I apologize for that. Um, this is, this is the way it worked out. Uh, let's see. Da -da -da. Let's see. Oh, boy. Everything is just so tense. So tense. Um, I don't think she cares about cover that much. I don't think she shoots. I think she's strictly ranged. All right, Mox, you go save Dragonova, please. I don't know why they continually keep putting it uh, on the bottom uh, camera angle. So the two of them both have one health now. So we got to do enough damage to her to get her to leave. Uh, Jan, where are you? I need you. All right, Jan, you come down here. Can you, camera, work work with me here, please. We're uh, we both want to save the world, right, camera? Stop going upstairs. Heading Thank you. Now. He's got thirty-one percent. Um, law, uh, the lost. We may have to worry uh, or deal with triggering them. Um, Harab, I don't know what to do with you. I think I'm going to pistol overwatch you. Dragonova, uh, which, oh, it doesn't matter. I don't know why overwatch. You just need to hunker down. Okay, Nima does not have a shot. Oh, I didn't move Nima down. All right, Nima, you're going to come down too. Forty-six percent. Uh, Overwatch doesn't matter, but I think the hunker might actually be the way to go here. Let's see. I was wrong. She grenades. All three of them are blinded. Okay, no lost, please. No lost, please. Harab has a shot. It's a 50%. It is literally the wheel o' heel, coin flip, feast or famine. We need this so badly. Take it, Harab. XCOM Harab is not Darkest Dungeon Harab. From chump to champ. From joke to goat. Harab is the man. Alright. Can we sneak Dragon... No, I don't like anything we could do with Dragonova or Mox. We fail the mission if they die. This is a 12% chance now because of the sniper. Um, I think... She's going to come out and make an attack. Uh, I think I'm going to go back to... Uh, the only other option is grenade. So we could grenade her like three times. It isn't going to kill her, but it will get close. But I don't... I think I'm going to go hunker again. Because I don't want to handle uh, a lost invasion at the same time as dealing with her. This is our other option, is the frag grenade. Oh, you can't even see. Wow, that's really effective blindness. That's actually quite cool that they did that. Uh, we're just, we're, we're hunkering down like crazy. Vanishing wind. And she may be going for, we don't know where she went now. Okay, well, we need to get everybody down here now. Roger that. And we just have to hope that she doesn't go for a Dragonova or Mox. Can we get you guys over here, please? No time to spare.
And, you know, we can't overwatch for her. Is she cloaked now? Is that what happened? On my way. We don't have eyes on her. Mox, can you get... Like, about here? Like, I want to keep people close enough that they can revive each other, but if Mox or Dragonova get hit, then they're dead and, and we have to redo the mission anyway. That's not out of the realm of possibility here, that, that we end up redoing this. Maintaining position. Uh, I'm back to hunkering. This is not very exciting. I appreciate that. Alright, she's right there. Oh, Nima. Big hit. Nima's down to one. But we do have her. And then she freaking moves. Like... I'm throwing my hands up here, guys. Uh, how am I supposed to combat this? I can't overwatch against her. Uh, I forgot that they get double moves. Um, these guys can't catch up to her and then shoot her. Most of them are. I can't take a hit. Like, we're literally down to one character who can actually shoot. So, since, um... Affirmative. Moving out. Since Seltzer is the only one with actual ammo... So she's got a 26% chance to hit. She can't overwatch. I guess I might as well frickin' frag her. I, I don't know what else to do. That will at least do damage, and this is never gonna end without that. That will bring the lost, and we'll have to pick them off with, with other people. It only did two. She's out of cover. If I could get anyone else up there... Can Harab get up there with a pistol? No. Can Dragonova get up there? No. Can Jan get up there? Not and shoot. Mox could uh, do his little grapple. You know what? We're going to do that. We're going to have to take some desperate actions here. Okay, got her. His gun just sucks. And he missed. I must improve. Surely you can do better. He can take another shot. This apparently is going to do one damage if it hits. Oh, she's got she's got shield now. You have to do better than that. Harab cannot get up there. All he can do is go there, which might block someone else. Jan, can you get up there? All right, we're gonna have to yellow move go, some go, people go. up. And I mean, obviously. There's a whole nother difficulty level past this one, so I know this is all achievable. My poor, depleted strategy brain is just really struggling here. Uh, Dragonova cannot even get there. You can get there. Can you cloak? Okay. Can she not see Dragonova? I'm gonna have to hope she can't see her. Covering ground. Uh, somebody's gonna die this turn. No if this does any damage at all, we're restarting. We have to, like that's not my choice. Yep. Oh, he's dazed for four turns. He's not dead. Amazing. All right, well, uh, this is a good circumstance now. She's got a 67% chance. We'll save that. We'll see what else we got. Jan, what do you got? 44? You know, forget cover, man. We need to get the best shots we can get. 
Come on, Jan. You have an opportunity to redeem yourself here, buddy. Every time we miss, she gains armor. I had expected something more. I did too. All right, cell three is fifty-three. These are terrible shots. Hitting there now. Okay, Seventy-nine. She's like about six feet away. Come on, Selfridge. There we go. That was something we needed badly. She's gonna run, okay. Holy crap. Is every mission gonna be like this? I don't think my heart can take it. The whole strategy done badly thing was a joke, but uh, I am not not uh, impressing myself here at all. Meaning that thing just rang the dinner bell for every remaining lost in the city. An accurate assessment. The entire lost. Yeah, thanks, Mr. Spock. Be converging on this position. Then let's get you all the hell out of there. Firebrand Couldn't you just bring the frickin' Sky Ranger over here? Just bring it to the overpass, man. We're right here. Alright, so where's Nima? And she's all by herself. Oh, guys. This is pretty bad. This is pretty bad, actually. She's got two that are definitely in range of her. Let's see, this is an 87% chance shot. What about with the pistol? No, that's an overwatch. This is already with the pistol. She missed 87% chance. She missed. Uh, Mox, this is a yellow move. Uh, Dragonova, you have all your moves. We never used you, which I'm very glad about now. Can we get you down to Nima? We can. Uh, that kind of looked like it might have been yellow. Was I wrong? Did I misinterpret that? Yeah. That's yellow. Uh, Harab, you still have all your moves. I would appreciate it if the camera would stop adding to the tension. Harab, we need you. I can't believe this is this is where I'm at. Harab, we need you. And you know how Harab likes to be bad only when it's funny? This is not funny. This would not be funny. Okay, so this actually will not kill that guy. I need you to kill people. Uh, how much health does this thing have? I can't... I gotta look on the stream. It's got four health and he can only do three. Alright. Uh, we want kills. Not misses, damn it. Alright, all Jan can... Uh, this is Mox. All Mox can do is get down here. Go ahead. This one lost is the one I'm worried about. This one right here. I might need some help. Wow. Holy cow. Just talk about on the edge, on the edge, on the edge. Okay, Dragonova, you have one. We gotta look at ammo here. Nima, your shots. You have your pistol which you can go here, 91%. Okay. Kill confirmed. We haven't lost anyone yet, no, but boy, it's just the, 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 the ice just keeps getting thinner and thinner and thinner. Jan, get down here with the camera. Let Janakis go. Uh, what's gonna give you shots? Over here, I'd say. 
Virtually everyone is down to one health. 76, take it. Jan, you are the new Harab. Except it's not fun. <laughs> three to four, three to four, three to four. I want these, I, 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 want, it, I want this because it's a guaranteed kill. And it was a d bad decision. Bad decision again. Okay, fortunately he gets two two opportunities. We still have cell three. But he's got to reload. But he can use this justice. He can get to this guy in automatic four. But that puts him up front. We need to see what cell three can do first. Cell three, if I move you here, you're going to have no vision. Do I have any blue options down here with you? Yes, I do. Do you have a blue option for me? Maybe yes, I do. Location. The tension is just unbelievable. 70, 68, 67. This is the most important guy. If it hits, he's dead. Okay, that really helps. Of course, she's out of ammo. Oh, yeah. Cell 3 is uh, Australian, it, it would sound like. Okay. <laughs> Harav and your one health. You got a 66, you got a 66. Uh, Dragonova and your one health. You've got an 85. Let's take that. All right, she's exposed, which is kind of fine. Really, go ahead and reload. Uh, no vision. Nima's got a 66 here. Harab also has a 66 on this guy. This is the last guy, I think, in range. Go ahead, Nima. She missed. Uh, Mox needs to reload. Uh, Dragonova doesn't have a shot on this guy. But I can put her on Overwatch. But Harab took care of it. Taking care of. Go ahead and reload. And no one else at the moment, so we're gonna Overwatch. Overwatch. Whew. Here comes more. So we're just going to have to do slow advancing. The wind must have picked up. Would have been nice if, you know, anybody had hit those guys. Can still be in this city? Has been sending purifier squads into these cities. All right, so Jan, you're the farthest back, so you need to move forward. Even thrive. We do not know why. And this is your best shot. Thank you. So we will... Thank you for doing something right, Jan. Uh, Mox, what do you have for shots? 53, these shots suck. Move up. Better. Take it. Good job. Now we can overwatch you. Seltry, you're you're farther back than I thought. I'm on the move. I think you're also an overwatch. Come get some. Alright. Our two death machines here. Harub. Take this one. Thank you. I do want to move you. We have to start inching forward. Can we get all these guys? Another 75. I'll take it. Alright. 
I want to see if somebody else can pick off this other one. Let Harab move. Uh, Dragonova, what do you got? 76, that seems solid. Thank you. I believe that's that entire swarm. So, let's blue move you. Uh, can we blue move you? Not to anywhere interesting. Fine. We'll reload you next turn. Actually, I think if I move Nima, then we can blue move you. Headed there now. So, Headed it's down. blue moves all the way. We're going to reload. We are going to be very careful. We're taking cover, even though it doesn't matter. Good to go. There, now we can blue move Dragonova. Moving out. I must reload. All right, slow and steady, people. Slow and steady. I did not exist. Okay, we got another swarm coming. Still, I feel revulsion at what happens in this place I to these people. <laughs> Let me finish talking. All right, uh, blue move. Not with the sniper, please. Uh, Dragonova is not bad. My life is in your hands. Okay, I might yellow move Jan. Yeah, let's let's get everybody. If you're fully loaded, then you can yellow move. Just don't go past Dragonova like Jan just did. Uh, I'm gonna blue move you, Mox, and I then uh, reload you. And I apologize, there's not much banter in this episode, guys. This is, like, super intense. <laughs> I gotta I gotta stay frosty here. I'm, I'm just... I'm, I'm alive by the skin of my teeth. We will... Overwatch. Nima, go ahead and get right behind Dragonova. Moving on target location. Scanning. And we will... Overwatch. Here comes the swarm. So first they show up, then we get the weird music. No one has vision on them. That's very unfortunate. That is a likely possibility. See, now they're all into each other, and this is this is a sidebar. I liked the setup of the conflict between the Reapers and the Skirmishers, and it's already over. They're already into each other now. Uh, let's move you, Jan. Moving. See if we can get vision on some of these guys. Nope. Okay, then everybody, we're just gonna creep up. As you command. Yep, that's right. I commanded it. Just creepy creep. Yes, Creeping up on little cat feet. Who's that? Harab? Got it. Moving. I think they're in the store. So as long as they don't move to the store, I, will go. I want them to come out at me. And even for YouTube, I mean, YouTube folks, this episode is way longer than I thought it was going to be. That's how it worked out. I mean, sure. Are they coming out now? Here they come. Dude, that, that guy is bought, booking. Oh, he vanished. He vanished. There's a dude standing right there. I don't even know what's happening. Oh my god, this is terrifying. Detecting additional lost converging near the evacuation coordinates. I advise caution. It would seem the lost are all Whoa. strategy. Whoa! Check it this out. Woohoo! It will take more than mere loss for that to happen. Okay, let's see. Who do we got? Who do I want to do this? How do I want to do this? Uh, I like Nima or Harab uh, to take a shot with the pistol. 100%. Can't miss. Only two. That's alright. Harab can do it. 
Does that mean Nima's actions are done? It does. Alright, Harab, go ahead and not shoot that guy then. Take the 75. Alright, Greg, thanks for stopping by. Uh, yeah. yeah, I didn't get it. I'll take that good luck uh, uh, option. <laughs> they all jump back. 76. Nope. What do you got? 66? Uh, his book is Unwilling Souls. Yes, that's the first book in his series. Take that reload. Overwatch. We can't really afford to move up now. I think I'll just... No, I can't. I can't risk moving Mox up. I mean, they're, they're all dead if they get hit. Everybody but Cell 3. Cell 3 is the only one who can actually afford to do anything. You can overwatch. <sighs> I, I'm wondering if running through the store is the wrong option. Nice job, Cell 3. Thank you very much. I mean, Seltry was a source of huge damage in Darkest Dungeon. She is in this game, too, so I suppose her class still makes sense. Look, Central. Let's look at our routes here. We could run down the street. I think I might be more into that. Usually I run through this building, but uh, I'm not sure... I'm not sure I want to do that this time. Uh, she's All she can do is yellow move, which I am going to do. Let's yellow move her over here. Uh, Nima, let's run to here. Okay. Just try to give everybody Overwatch options. Oh, she's got a shot. 65. Come on, Nima. We need this clutch. I mean, you got the hit. I can't argue with that. Uh, if we move Harab there, he should also have that shot. That's affirmative. Hey, Harab, can you finish that, please? 65? No, he missed completely. I'll get him next time. Alright, uh, Jan, you actually have three health. You might survive a hit. Moving to designated coordinates. This is how we gotta look at things now. Not but you don't have vision. Mox, you, you, you're made of paper. Yes. You, can't, you can't handle anything. You're just an overwatch. You're an overwatch on legs, Mox. That's all you are. Okay, here we go. Unfortunately, she only has ammo to shoot one. She got him, though. Target down. She can reload. She'll probably take a hit here. But I think Cell 3 can take one. I had to say something about the loss, didn't I? Come on, Mox. Good job. No, Jan is still useless. Look, look, guys, I'm aware of the stakes. Okay, I got it. But we'll keep talking about it anyway, even though they know. Okay, let's see. Nima, do you got a shot here? Please, please hit this. Okay, we're gonna try to move. Oh, wait, is this not a road? Oh, it's not a road. <laughs> I thought it was a road. All right, I guess we are going through the building, damn it. All right, let's move up. Understood, moving out. Nima and her one health. Jan and his three health. We could go up. Mox. Go ahead and reload, Mox. I must reload. Uh, cell 3, I almost might send you upstairs. Oh, you can't go upstairs. Let's just go through the building. Let's not let's not go over, up. 
Oh, we got one. He's over there. Sneaky. Come on, Seltry. Thank you. Man, Seltry is just freaking clutch as hell. Uh, you can overwatch, please. Harab, I want you right here. And Dragonova, I want you here. That's a long run. It is. We gotta get out of here, guys. Okay. We, we, we're we about two runs away. Uh, I'm gonna be not bold. I'm gonna park Nima right next to Harab. Same thing, uh, Jan, you can overwatch. Alright. Yet another swarm. All right, we have no shots. No one, no vision, no, okay. So who's got the cell three? You're like point, where are you? You have to keep point here. Hit it there now. Okay, they're gonna come through that door. Let's be ready for them. Who's farthest back? Mox. Get up here. Okay. Um, I actually like you right where you are, Rob. Dragonova, I like you here. As you order, Commander. And Nima on the other side of Harab. Overwatch, please. Jan, I need you also up with Cell 3 so you can actually take a hit. Everyone's overwatching. They should be coming through. Here they come. Nice hit by Mox. Here's Harab. Beautiful shot by Harab. Cell 3? Beautiful again. I like that everybody's visually recognizable for who they are. All right, we're down to possibly one guy in there. Who might have vision on that? Anyone? All right, uh, Cell 3, you have ammo? Do you? Not really. That means, Jan, you've got points here. Um, can you pick up this one guy? And man, if it's more than one guy, I'm sorry. Hey, you got him. 76. Come on, Jan. Jan finally did what I needed him to do. Okay, everybody up. We're gonna move through housewares here. Maybe look at some shoes. I don't like shopping for shoes, I'd like to say. I'm very bad at it. I always want to spend way too little money, particularly on sneakers, and then like within six months I need sneakers again because I'll spend like, you know, way, way too little on them. And you know, Maine is not kind to the uh, sneaker product. Okay, everybody's reloading. I don't think anybody's running through the door and I think we got a bunch of guys in the alley. Jeez, jeez, jeez. Uh, I said I didn't think anyone would run through the door. I was wrong. Who's got the best shot? 51. 96. Dragon Elva, take it. There we go. All right, cell three, and all your health. Where are you? Yeah, I need you here. Good grief, this is tense. 
This is ah, oh, there's like oh no, no, no. We we killed the whole pod. Ah. Oh. All right. Well, let's see. Cell three. You can kill two. What we need now is somebody who's got some of these guys on the side. Jan, who do you have? You have the same one Cell 3 does. Mox, go ahead and take this one. 87. Thank you. Uh, Cell 3, you've got 87. Take this one. I'd love to overwatch you, so we'll see if I get that opportunity. Uh, no one else has a shot, but they are all going to come running in here. Our other option would be to... I don't want to run out into the hall, but I would like to run somebody up with Cell 3, like Jan. Jan, you have both your moves. You get up here with Cell 3. Do you have vision on that guy now? Nope, I saw him though. I saw him out in the street. I'm just gonna overwatch everybody else so that when they come running in, we just unload on them. I just have to hope somebody hits. That's a miss by Harab. Dragonova took it down. Cell 3. Miss. Jan. Hit. Cell 3 might get a, get a smack here. They missed her. Alright, this is our moment. Uh, Harab needs to reload. But I'm still running him up. She needs to reload. She's got a ton of movement, though, so I'm going to let her take this 89% shot here. There we go. And now we'll put her in the alley. Nima. Blue move. Good copy. Moving on target. Take a shot. 100%. Well done. Target eliminated. Okay, um... Who's still out there? Mox, I want you right there. Cell 3, you need to reload. And I need to see, can we move? No, we can't. We'd have to yellow move to get to the other side here, so I'd rather try to yellow move everybody next turn. I don't know that everybody's going either. Here's a whole bunch of more dudes. Do I dare to hope? Well, I'm glad I overwatched people, but miss by Nima. Hit by Jan. Two more in there. Cell 3 fires up. It's a hit. Still one active. Mox takes a shot. And saves the day. Okay, who's the farthest back character? Mox. Mox cannot yellow move out. So we're going to have to creep out into the hallway with Cell 3 and see what we have. Okay. What we have is... Two lost. And she missed. I agree. Uh, we need Jan. Please come into the hallway. Your presence is requested. Okay, Jan, we need some clutch hits here. That was good. Uh, you also w took out the wall, which I think is great, because I think now everybody can see these guys. You missed. 
Uh, you did not take out the wall. All right, Nima, we need you in the hallway with your pistol. Moving out. 98%. There we go. Thank you, Nima. Enemy eliminated. Whew. What do you think the play of the game was on this one? Uh, assuming we get out of here, um, I, the end of the YouTube video uh, is going to have the play of the game if I can figure them out. And uh, I'm not sure who had the best move in this in this adventure. I, I, I might have to go back and rewatch the whole thing to figure it out. Yep, thank God I overwatched, but it might not be enough. Those runners. Two misses. Alright, somebody got him. Hit by Nima. She took her target down. Alright. Can we yellow move the hell out of here? Uh, Janakis. Go. Yeah, well, <laughs> or or perhaps the moment of the game, in the case of the first episode, the 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 uh, adrenaline highlight, if you will. I'm gonna try to have it be a positive moment whenever possible. But yeah, I thought like a play of the game kind of thing. If if you know, if some chat wants to pick somebody uh, each time we watch. You know, st st going on from this point because I didn't really say anything. I did. I said something about it before you were here, Zach. I must move quickly. Then I forgot to say it again. This was a team effort. Holy cow! On Talk about skin of our teeth. I cannot believe we're not going to lose anybody. Unbelievable! Unbelievable! I had to dance on the edge for like an hour there. See, now they love each other. Time to return home, traitor. I ship them. No. Now everyone's going to be gravely wounded. So, you know, it's, yeah, I got everybody home alive, but none of them are usable for, like, forever. Presents an intriguing opportunity to study the varying... Only Janakis is standing. Janakis in cell 3. Cell 3 is basically in charge now because everyone else is dead. <laughs> or dead tired, anyway. We did keep everyone alive, and I, I should, you know, I'm happy about that. No question. All right, so which direction do we send Cell 3? I feel like she's she's going to go down the damage path, the grenade path, um, or the launch grenade path. Um... Uh, let's see. Your gear includes extra padding and blast plates, extra point of armor, 66% less damage from explosive attacks, or shred armor. No, I want to be able to shred armor. Alright. We will promote Dragonova. We may have chosen a different means of resistance, but our people fight for the same reason, for the world we once knew. Together we will end this occupation, or die trying. Thank you, Riker. Resistance factions take a more flexible approach to training than traditional soldiers. They can also so, remote start is neat. With each promotion. They will adapt to um, your choices, Commander. I like hollow targeting, though. Because it helps everybody. Makes everybody better. Commander, 
Each of our soldiers is rated based on their understanding of our tactics and capabilities. All right, Something Nima, we you are already. Uh, let's see. So let's promote you. Let's see. Return field. fire when targeting you. Modestly get the fire back. I mean, I'm kind of inclined to make one of them the range, ranged. You know, long distance sniper, and one of them the close up. And um, I think it's more thematically correct for Nima to be at long range because Nima does not fight particularly well. So uh, that's kind of that's kind of built in. So I think I'll go with her for the long range shot, and Harab is like the gunslinger. And we're gonna promote Janakis into. A ranger. That's reasonably appropriate for that character. Let's give Jan a poster. Oh, that's fantastic. Let's give him a better background, though. Uh, background. High burst. Why's everything got to be so green? Take the badge, though. Yeah, can we... Can we tone it down a bit? Actually, the red is kind of sharp. I'll take that. I have a bunch of photos I need to do uh, for the YouTube, but uh, I can do that after. So <laughs> everyone else is like falling over. All right, and let's see. We have very high cohesion between Janakis and Harab. I'm not ready to, to match them up yet, though. Let's uh, continue. So we got a scientist out of the deal from uh, from them, but they've captured Mox. We'll need to rescue him. We should talk to our friends with the resistance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We deploy on a covert action. Yeah. They can help us find Elaine is available now. Soldier is being held. So let's take a little stock here uh, as we go into uh, a very high minute count for this episode. Um, so I probably will be uh, calling it here, but oh, we got a cutscene. All right, after the cutscene. Thank you. 
greater battle lies ahead. Our time on this world draws to a close. Yet we need not abandon it completely at our departure. For one among you is surely ready to claim this world as their own. One among you is worthy. All right. Actually, um, I think the play of the game is Cell 3 uh, taking out uh, the Chosen. If she didn't get that crit, I, I don't know where that was going to go. So, pretty sure that's 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 my vote anyway. All right. More talking, more talking. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Thank you. Thank you. You are all welcome. Some concerns with this alliance of yours, but from what I hear, this skirmisher, Mox, was captured protecting one of my own. Reapers have long memories, Commander. We will honor our end of the deal. Volk, out. All right, thank you, Volk. Yes, now she has to say things, and all right, is everybody done talking? I'd like to, you know, play the game here. Okay, so we have a couple options as to where to go. We are certainly not going on the uh, uh, mission to... Uh, actually, I don't think there's any... Act yeah, we're not going to go to the black site. In fact, we can't go there yet. We could get some rookies. We could get some supplies. How many supplies do we have now? Uh, blah, blah, blah. Can I see that? Is that being hidden by the Twitch bar? It is. I should move that. Supplies... 212. Um, I think I might want the rookies more. And we got seven days to get that, six days to get this. Let's go for the rookies. Meanwhile, um, I do want to check something in engineering. So if we could go see uh, Miss Lily Chen, please. Over in engineering. What can I do for you, Commander? Yes, hi. Uh, you look a lot like Nima. Just, just saying. Uh, I would like to know if you can make me, or what can you make me? Flashbang, medikit, smoke grenade, and you can make armor. I mean, all of these are pretty important, I think. I think we definitely need a vest. I might even take two vests here. And then I would like at least one medikit and a flashbang. All right, I, I want that to have some some options in our back pocket. It looks like we could make another vest too, but I, I hate that they don't wear the vest. I hate that the vest is an item that they have to carry. All right, so back over here. We're gonna spin until we get a mission and then we're gonna wrap it up. Odan is back from his wounds. Silne is back from her wounds. Those are very important. The GTS is available, okay. A little hope here. Uh, can we see the GTS, please? Okay. So this will train rookies as a specific class. That's one of the things it can do. But what we really need is this squad size. But we need somebody to be a sergeant first. Now, who are our options? Uh, can we see our soldiers, please? So, Cell 3, Odin, and Harab, Nima, and Dragonova are all corporals. Uh, so we just need one of them to get promoted, I believe, one more time. Uh, Odin and Cell 3 are, are out of the hospital. Uh, Harab is gone for 12 days. Nima's gone for 20 days. Dragonova's gone for 18. Drew will be back in four. Janakis is just tired. Me too, Janakis. Me too. So, back at the uh, GTS uh, facility, do I want to train a rookie? No, because I don't. We didn't make any of these people into our people, so no. Um, we can't do the combat tactics. Yes. Okay. So there's nothing we can do there now. So we're going to go back to the, the going to go back to the globe and spin. 
and I'm we're okay. Here we go. This is Den Mother. All right. So the next thing we have is a terror terror mission. We have you to thank for that. Our pleasure, Den Mother. Enjoy it while it lasts. We plan to. Our water purification. Massive signal coming from the Advent Network Tower. It's global, sir. I think you want to see this. Fellow citizens, for 20 years, the Advent Coalition has worked tirelessly to repair the ravages <laughs> and injustices Jan of the world. Jan is just tired. World. And I'm Under tired of Jan. Jan is the new Harab, there's no question. <laughs> people flourish and our world heals. And yet, among us, there are still those who would refuse to so Jan is the new Harab. Harab is the new Silne? And Cell 3 is still Cell 3. <laughs> that must end. Even as I speak to you today, you've got incoming on approach. Your signal's breaking up. Didn't you hear what he said? They're right on top of you. Losing you, Avenger. Maybe react in some way. Stop hanging laundry. What are you people doing? Get your people out! Uh, With your cooperation, we will overcome these radical elements and usher in another 20 years of peace and prosperity. They don't stand a chance. Commander, we should get a yeah. squad ready to deploy. Should we, though? I don't know that we're ready for this. But we don't have a choice. This is going to be a rough one, folks. I don't think there are any not rough ones at this point. Alright, we have a retaliation site. Let's look and see what our options are. We'll squad up and we'll call it for an incredibly long marathon mission. There's a good chance they'll show up to interfere, so we should plan accordingly. Okay, so... They want to give us Odan, Janakis, Silne, and Cell 3. Um, you know, I, I don't I don't hate those options. Um, so let's look here, though, at editing Cell 3's... Okay, we do have a, a weapon upgrade option. So we've got a hair trigger, which 5% chance the cost, uh, shot will not cost an action. Or scope, which increases aim by 5%. So let's go back to these folks. Uh, whose aim is the worst? Cell 3's aim is 69. Uh, Odan, 71. Jan, 68. Sil, 68. So either Jan or. Um, now, Jan is a ranger now, so he will be running up to people with his sword. He'll be shooting people with a shotgun. He'll be closer than, than uh, Silne is going to be. So I think I will give the this weapon upgrade, the um, scope, to Silne. All right. And then the hair trigger. I actually like that for Jan. Uh, because I'd like him to be able to take multiple shotgun shots. And it's, it's a 5% chance. You know, it's not like... You know, it might proc once every three missions. Okay, now if we go over to Cell 3, uh, I would like to... We still have an upgrade option? Hair trigger for you? Well, sure then. You can have that as well. But what I wanted you to have was your loadout here. I would like this to be the flash I think I want the flashbang yes you're the only one who can do two grenades so we'll have you the flashbang uh, Jan you probably need the nano vest more than you need your grenade not weapon upgrade we need loadout and Sil I think I want you to have the med kit instead of instead of a grenade. It's not pretty. It's not pretty. But this is going to be the team. Whoops. I was all, all fired up. Get back into that. 
<laughs> where did they where did it go? <laughs> uh missions. Not the black site. This one. Yes, the retaliation. Yes. Okay, everybody's ready. Oh there we go. We have the music all hyped up and everything. Alright, so this is gonna be the team for next time for what is sure to be. Uh, I don't care what that difficulty easy says. Operation Glass Hydra stop the advent retaliation. There are no easy, easy missions in next done. Not not with uh, not with Mr. Dunn at the controls. So uh, we've got Janakis, Odin, Selthri, and Silne are going to be leading it off next time. Um, I want to thank uh, Greg, Lady Aju, and Zach for all stopping by and, and watching and cheering me on. And I appreciate all the moral support. Uh, I will catch up uh, on YouTube probably tomorrow, time permitting. Get some episodes posted up. I will be streaming this again tomorrow night about 8 o'clock. And uh, we'll keep going. Somehow, somehow, we haven't lost anybody again. I'm sure I'm jinxing me for next mission, but uh, dancing on the edge. So much stress, but so much fun. I'm having a great time. I hope you are too. That's going to do it for tonight. Thanks very, very much for watching. Stay safe take care of each other and the whole gang and I will see you next time